Hey guys, what's up guys today in this episode on Saves Any Fun Channel? So today's video or today's episode is about foreign language challenge. And simply let's explain quickly what is foreign language challenge and it is having three languages English and French and Spanish. So um we have a sentence on a word and we must translate it from English to French and to Spanish and I really know how to pronounce it by English and French but it's really hard by pronouncing it in Spanish so we will use Google Translator so we could spell the word so well, let's quickly get started so the first sentence says goodbye is in English au revoir is in French and I think it's hasta ligo in Spanish so let's go to Google Translator or Google so we could say it in the Spanish way so we we would know if I spell it right or wrong, so let's go. So I found it on the Google Translator, so it's, let's hear it. So it will say hasta luego. So let's hear it. Hasta luego. Exactly, so it's hasta luego. It's like in the Spanish way. Hasta luego. So like um, he said, hasta luego. So that was the first one. Let's go to the second one quickly. Eat and drink in English. Manger et boire in French. And in Spanish, I think so, and I wish I would be right. Comer y beber. I think so. So let's go to the Google Translator. Here we go again. And comer y beber in Spanish. So let's see if I'm right or wrong. Comer y beber. So let's hear it again. Comer y beber. Comer y beber. Exactly. So it's comer y beber. I think so. So well done, I had do I had did a good job in this one. So let's see the other one. Here is the third one. It says in English it's hot or it's cold. In French, il fait chaud slash or or il fait froid. And in Spanish I think it is his color or or slash have froid. I think so. Let's go to Google Translator. Thanks really for Google Translator. It's really easier so let's go so here we go and let's see and here so we divide it into two pieces has color and half and also another piece half froid so let's hear the first part hace calor hace calor hace calor yeah so c is like f hace calor i think so so let's see the second part here's the second part half froid i, I said half froid let's hear it half froid half froid it's half froid so <laughs> It's half right. Okay, let, let's see the fourth word. And here's the fourth one and the last one. So it says in English, for me, slash, for her, slash, for him. In French, pour moi, um, pour elle, and pour lui. And in Spanish, and I wish it would be correct. And in the fourth one and the last one, it's para mí, para ella, para él. So let's see in the Google Translator. So here we go. Para mí. So we'll divide the word into three pieces. So para mí and the second part of this word. And the second part is para ella. I said para ella. Para ella. Para ella. So it's para ella, not para ella. And the third part of this word. And the third part, I said para el. Para el. Yeah, exactly. So it's para el. And that was the last question in today's episode so thanks for watching please like share subscribe and also don't forget to comment down and tell us your opinion about this episode and do you want another episode about foreign language challenge thanks for watching and see you in the next episode bye